Hey, what's good, everyone? Welcome to Ice Drink Diaries, local Ice Man here. For today's final episode of the Drinking Fountains, I finally put together the water bottle filling station. This consists of a mounting bracket, drilling holes in the concrete, and then putting a unit on the wall. Then I'll show you guys how to install the water valves and then the drain. So stay tuned, it's gonna be exciting. All right, let's do a quick unpacking of the upper side of the LK VRC GR NAWSK filling station. Exciting stuff here. Big pizza box. All right, that's the bottom. Warranty, we'll send that stuff in. All right. The top off, slide the back off, and this back gets mounted to the concrete. Let's go ahead and uh, take these bolts off right here. And this little thing slides up, then kind of back. This little lid. Let's go ahead and slide. There we go. This contains the hose and the electrical stuff. Um, these are some mounting screws that we're gonna need here. And what we need to do. Let's go ahead and clear this right now. These screw in on this little piece right here. Remove the hose. This goes on just like this. You just want to screw in a little bit because that gasket's going to fit in here. Then the hose. Then it, this thing. This slips right underneath this bracket. I'm gonna set my clutch here. All right, I like that. I like that. This is almost ready. Let's go ahead and uh, move back over to the other area and mount this guy right here. The structure says stick it on the wall here and mark your holes, which I already did. Right there, one, two, three, plus one more down there. All right, now that the holes are drilled, let's go ahead and uh, hammer these anchors in. A little smooth. One more. I already put three quarter inch anchors in. Um, I'm gonna check that one using a porter cable hammer drill, combination hammer drill, rubber drill. I'm using these uh, concrete anchors right here. Slide them in, pound them in the hammer. There you go. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is put this on here, size it up. Give me some mounting screws here. Three on the top, one on the bottom. I think that's gonna be more than plenty. Top two screws in. Okay, one right here. A little snug test right here. I think the next step is going to be water. So we got water and drain. So. Um, I got all the parts for the drains. So I'm gonna see if I could get that done with what was here before. But as far as the water goes, I need to get from the bottom of uh, this guy here, which is right about here, to here. So back from the store, we got our hose and compression fitting. This is a 3 8 compression fitting to a half inch hose to a 3 8 compression fitting that goes to a water valve. Uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of duct tape, even though I know that that's gonna seal in there but just in case it's a little actually I'm not gonna put duct tape I'm gonna put this stuff on here. Alright I 
I got the other hose already kind of pre-fit right here, so let me just do it right here. I got already got screwed in there, threaded on, as you say. So I make sure it's the right size before I proceeded. No sense pulling it out. Oh. <laughs> I think that passes the tight test. Just got done tightening the hose to the water valve there, so let's go ahead and put the compression fitting on the drinking fountain side there. This piece goes on first, a little nut deal, then the compression washer deal will go on next. Got both slid on there. Slid on there. You guys can see that. I like this hose idea a little bit better so we can flex it there. Here we go. So as far as this one goes, this first drinking fountain, we get two to three components done. Well, other than the install. Electricals there, we got the water. Now we gotta do the drain. All right, you see this uh, T right there? I think you can see that. This is where the upper water cooler plugs into it. I have to loop it around. All right. This is a big moment. My mate in the upper with the lower. Yeah, that one, there we go. Okay, I think we're at the point to where we need the uh, do the drain next. So we need to make this one right here to the hole right there in that amount of space. Should line up with this one right here. Okay, the top one here. That's tight. That's tight. These two ones right here that are critical. Just from the floor to the wall. Okay, all that's left to do right now, honestly, is the... I'm going to turn the water on with you guys with the camera on. It's a little crank. I hear water flowing. I don't see it leaking. So, there is a startup procedure, so we're going to read the instructions here real quick. This is the plug for the upper unit. You plug the upper unit in first. All right. She is alive. So, okay, let's go ahead and plug the compressor in. And you know what? This building's been open since, what, 97? And there hasn't been a drinking fountain where the compressor's been plugged in. Air pressure, maybe. <laughs> That's how it's gonna be. Is there a way to adjust that? <laughs> oh my god. I had it down in there a second ago. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. All right, let's go ahead and do the final test here. We'll test the fountain first. Solid. Let's go ahead and test the bottle filling station here. Oh yeah. I guess it keeps going until you pull it away. Oh nice. All right. There you go, guys. Hope you enjoy them. Thanks again to Dot Soccer Association, Washington Wild, and Whatcom County Amateur Hockey Association. And like your local ass man says, stay cool.